In this video, let's build a thousand dollar New Zealand gaming PC. Anyways, let's pick up the parts. Track stuff in. Okay. That's it? Yeah. Uh, nah, I the, I no motherboard, no CPU? Oh, I've got the motherboard. Yeah, like, the motherboard is yeah, yeah, true, that is so true. Yeah. Bro, you can go ask them for free samples. Go, go to the supplier and ask for free samples. What? Uh, that's what I did. Did you actually? Yeah. Whole rounds on this. Yo, this is recording. Yo, this is recording. Nah, open, hold up. Hold up. Yo, this is Whole rounds on this. Take it down, get some pressure on that. Worst thing is some guy would come behind you and like fake the off. You're biking, you wouldn't. Like, okay, if the thing breaks, it's not my fault. Uh, the one thing I might break is hard drive. Hard drive. Oh, you up for breaks. Awesome. I'll hook you up if it breaks. Oh, well, you're giving me a replacement. Yeah, I'll get, I have like, I have two right now. Oh, two. Okay. So it's all good, man. Hello, Joseph. Yo, what are you doing here, I'm man? I'm going to play football with Alex Okay, catch you later, man. Okay, definitely not doing PC flipping right now. There's our motherboard. This is our power supply. So, let's cut this open. This thing is a chunk. Ooh, this is actually pretty well packaged up. Oh, this card is a big one. Ooh. Wow, this thing is big. Look at that. That is a serious car, 980 Ti with its backplate. It's a bit, it's a little bit dusty, but oh, this is a good, chunky 980 Ti. Performs around by the same performance as a GTX 1070, which is gonna be great for a thousand dollars. That's a great budget PC, and it's also better than the budget 1050 Ti PC you can get from Playtech for twelve hundred dollars. So, use price for performance. Anyways, let's talk a little bit about the parts I chose as I pretty much glanced over it. First of all, we got a Silverstone case. Um, it's a Farrah case, Farrah R1, I believe. I wouldn't recommend using this case. I, the only reason we bought this case was because it came with four RGB fans, which, not, which aren't the best. They look pretty cheap and they're not that good. And the controller that comes with it does not have like any remote, and our motherboard sadly does not have any RGB control. So pretty much the RGB on this case is pretty much useless. You're better off going to Cool Moon and buying a cheap used case. And I'll put there's links to Cool Moon in the description down below, and you can see my video. I'll put a card and also and, and the link in the description down below. Um, cool Moon's great RGB, by the way, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so we also chose an uh, GTX 980Ti we got for $450 shipped from Invercargill. And we also got an Intel Core i5-9500, which is great because it's UHD graphics and a tiny bit better than the 9400. And since he's technically going to be my editor, the 9500 the and it's H.264 um, decoding with Intel QSV, was definitely going to be improving his video editing and we'll also test that. We, this computer has 16 gigabytes of RAM and currently the RAM that he got was faulty, which is um, kind of sad. But uh, technically they were really very cheap RAM and the GPU guy gave us some free RAM so I'm not complaining. Um, it has a 1TB hard drive and the original one, as I said, was, was broken and it has a 204GB SSD also. 
Um, overall, I would personally use this computer every day. It's a great computer. It's for most of you guys, this computer will be completely fine for anything you guys will be, you'll be, anything you guys will be throwing at it. And I'll put a, a parts list and alternatives in the description down below. Anyway, so we did build this computer on stream live, so I'll put a link onto that on somewhere here, maybe a card up here. And we did face a lot of issues. The, we had issues with the hard drive. The hard drive is clicking, which is kind of funny because um, he said when I was picking up the parts from his house, and um, he said that the parts, he said um, the hard drive clicking was going to be impossible when I warned him it was going to be possible. So pretty much I put in the hard drive, I put another 1TB hard drive, and that 1TB that hard drive is truly dead. Anyways, let's see how good this thing performs in games. I think I forgot to say this, but one of the last tests we'll be doing is on productivity and especially in video editing and photo editing in Photoshop and in Premiere Pro. So pretty much I'll be editing this video on this PC to see how good it is. <laughs> Anyway, drop a comment to tell me what you guys think about this $1,000 New Zealand gaming PC. So, thank you very much for watching this video, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.